today I feel like slaughtering uh, animals because t <laughs> just kidding today we are celebrating the Islamic holiday of the sacrifice feast the Eid or Eid of the or the festival of the sacrifice as somebody coming from a Muslim culture with Muslim parents Muslim relatives and many Muslims that I know I too want to send a good message out today and wish happiness for Muslims. And I wish that this holiday will bring them something good. And because I wish that it will bring them something good and because I wish that they will be happy and because I wish that everyone else, all of us will be happier, I think the best way to appreciate this holiday, to appreciate this sacrifice feast, is to review your religious beliefs, to look at them once more, and to use this opportunity to understand what you really believe in, and to then leave Islam, and to help others leave Islam. To recognize that Islam is largely responsible for the pain and suffering in the Islamic world, the lack of progress, and the lack of open-mindedness, happiness. I hope that Muslims use this day, this opportunity, and other days in their future to look at themselves, and to look at their culture, to look at their religion, and to realize that this religion holds them back, holds them in darkness, prevents them from being happy, prevents them from going toward the future, and prevents them from being advanced, like freer cultures. And the best starting point for that is to use this opportunity, as said, of the sacrifice feast, and to think about all the elements of this sacrifice feast that are not really Abrahamic, monotheistic, or what Muslims think is Islamic. Muslims consider them Islamic and think Islamic is pure monotheism, pure religion of Abraham. But in reality, Islam is a syncretic religion, a mix of pagan practices and foundations and Abrahamic beliefs. And the best example for that is the sacrifice feast and all the practices that surround it. The Kaaba is something that has no history and no, no connection, nothing to do with Abrahamic monotheistic religion. Putting on sheets and walking around the Kaaba seven times is something that is pre-Islamic Arab polytheism, paganism. It has nothing to do with monotheistic Abrahamic religion. Mecca, which is considered a sacred place in Islam, the mother of cities, Allah's favorite spot, has no connection to Abrahamic religion and to monotheism. So many other ritual elements of this festival are completely disconnected from the roots of Abrahamic monotheistic tradition and are all about Arabian culture and tradition, Arabian polytheism, which Muhammad got rid of in a violent way. I have explained how the Hajj is a pagan festival in this video, which is about the truth about the Hajj and that it is a pagan practice and festival. In this video, which reveals the truth about the Kaaba and how it has nothing to do with Abrahamic monotheism and is about pre-Islamic Arab polytheism. In this recent video, in which I talked about how Muhammad violently got rid of different Kaabas and different temples, and in many more other videos. And soon I will also publish a video on the pagan origins of Islam, so look out for that. I sincerely wish for the best, and I sincerely wish and hope that Muslims can open their eyes and can leave this religion behind in order to improve their own lives, their own circumstances, and the circumstances and lives of everybody else around the world. The delusion doesn't do you any good. Thank you, and stay away from Islam.